Hello! It is the 1st of April and I'm called to start pulling some cards for you. Now this is the Therapets deck and it's really big and I struggle to shuffle it. <laughs> I can't shuffle it. Let's see what message the Therapets have for you today. Oh, that's beautiful. I think that's a red panda. Is that a red panda? Yes. Not exactly a pet. Does anybody have a red panda as a pet? You'll have to let me know. The message is you are worth taking care of. Now, you are worth taking care of. And I don't just mean somebody else taking care of you. The message I feel that we're getting today from this card is that you are worth taking care of yourself. Now, let's be honest. Oh, squeaky chair. When we suffer from depression and anxiety or post-traumatic stress or we're just sad, the idea of taking care of yourself just slips away. It slips away. When I was at my very worst, I wouldn't get in the shower. I just laid in bed all day and I would have laid in my own filth all day long. You know, I'm going to be brutally honest here. I would have laid in my filth all day long. It didn't matter that my kids needed taking care of. It didn't matter that I needed to eat, to do anything. I just didn't do anything. Depression is cruel. It's cruel. And anybody who's experienced it knows this. So whether you are in that state right now, where you are struggling to even go get clean, go and make yourself a drink or anything else, or if you're just kind of not as bad as that, but, you know, self-care is a, a bit of an issue for you. This is your permission today. This is your affirmation. You are worth taking care of. And I want you to say that to yourself. I am worth taking care of. Now, I was very lucky. I had a husband who took excellent care of me, who made sure I got in the shower, probably because <laughs> probably he couldn't stand the stink, and who made sure that I ate, even if it was just a bowl of vegetable soup. But what I want to get home to you today, and the message that I feel like I'm being given here to give to you, is that this isn't about relying on other people to take care of you necessarily, but about you taking care of yourself and you feeling deserving and worthy of being taken care of. But it's going to take some effort. You might have to really kind of dig deep to get yourself in the shower, to get yourself to eat a healthy meal instead of just grabbing for the junk food. The other thing is that I'm being told to tell you now is that if people offer to take care of you, you need to say yes. I tried to reject everybody. When they wanted to help me, I tried to reject it. My husband, everybody. I just, I didn't want to know. I wasn't interested. I just wanted to, to lay there in my pain, I think, and um, either numb it with antidepressants and antipsychotics or by watching just relentless episodes of just terrible TV that required no thinking on my part, or to just sleep it off. And I did not take care of myself. And one of the first things that I started to do that helped me to start getting out of depression was to get out of bed and go and make a cup of tea for myself. Simple as that. And it took colossal effort, but I did it. And I started to do it every day. Every day. I made it into a habit that I would get up. I would make myself a cup of tea. And even if I went straight back to bed afterwards because I couldn't cope, I still made sure I did that. It grew into, I'm going to make a cup of tea, I'm going to make a sandwich, and I'm going to sit downstairs and eat it. I'm not going to take it upstairs to bed with me. I'm going to sit downstairs and eat it. Then it grew to, I'm not going to wait for my husband to poke me to get me in the shower. I will go and get in the shower. And again, it felt like a colossal effort, but I did it. 
So if you're feeling particularly bad, you can do this. You've got this. You are worth taking care of. This is one of the first steps, really, to starting to recover. The self-love. You need to understand that you are human. And you need to treat yourself with care, with love, and with respect. Just as you would anyone else. If you saw somebody in the same sort of pain that you're in, you wouldn't leave them, would you? You would try to help. So accept help from others because you are worth taking care of. And if you don't have other people around you to help, you know that you are worth taking care of and start to take care of yourself, even in small ways. But your affirmation for today, and I want you to keep saying it to yourself, is I am worth taking care of. By yourself and by others, you are worth taking care of. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you again tomorrow.